Hey again, it's Margaret with Texas Gal Treasures. Chairs rocking. Um, I just got back from my sister's uh, from Kerrville, and I told you guys I was going to be going to some thrift stores, charity shops with her, and I would bring back my haul to share. It wasn't quite what I expected. There were lots of really cool things, but the part I didn't expect was shopping with three kids, seven-year-old, four-year-old, two-year-old, and my dad. So I really couldn't dive in like I wanted to, so I just kind of skimmed the surface um, of what I could find. And we went to about four places. So here I'll go, I'll show you. Uh, so first were some books. This one is a manual for design and welding engineering. This is I paid a dollar for it, but I don't think I did. I think it was a quarter. And I don't really know how much I'm going to get for it. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of research, but I just thought it looked cool. I can't resist vintage books. So if I, uh, I'm going to come back and add some prices and things down on the bottom for what I wasn't sure about. And then this little fella, the little Christmas teddy bear book that was 10 cents. And I looked it up and it was going for about 10 bucks. 10 or 15 bucks online. I think Amazon had two of them for 15 bucks each. So that was a pretty good deal. And um, that was another thing I didn't take into account is where my sister lives in Kerrville, it's like in a valley. And uh, reception on phones is just spotty. So I was in a few stores and I had no cell phone service at all. So it was really hard because you're going to have to fly by the seat of your pants. I'm going dark. You have to fly by the seat of your pants and uh, see what what's uh, what you think is going to sell or do well so that was one and then I got some golden books I always pick these up and I check them out these are all pretty new but uh, I check them out and put them in my antique booth for about five bucks a piece four or five bucks but if they're older ones and I save them and list them online uh, but yeah these are all pretty new that one's a little bit older but five bucks each Hmm. All right, my next really good find was this Trivial Pursuit game. It was Lord of the Rings Trivial Pursuit, and the box is all torn up, water damaged, but I checked online. The pieces are all there, and having the game pieced out, you can make a little bit of money. I'm, I noticed that someone was selling the game new sealed cellophane for about 11 bucks, but people are selling the board for between 6 and 10 bucks. And then the cards for about 10 bucks. And then the pewter pieces with all of their little wedges for about 10 bucks. So you're looking at about $30 there. That's a pretty good profit uh, for 50 cents. And I think it was just because the box was yucky. Yeah. All right, next up is this. Silver plate. It says Napier silver plate. And I thought it was a bed warmer. Maybe. But the only reason I'm not sure is that this part is metal as well. And most of the time you see bed warmers, this part's wood because the heat transfer will go and heat this part up as well. So I need to do a little research because the Napier brand, there's a few things out there that are Napier silver plate that are selling for a lot of money. There's like a little penguin and it's going for a hundred and something dollars. So I need to find out a little more. I'm going to be coming to visit some of my Facebook groups to ask what is it exactly because I mean is it a bed warmer or I don't know. Anyway, silver plate. Bought it for three dollars. We'll see how it does. Uh, next I got a few little figurines. Now these I'm trying out something new in my antique booth is trying to find little dogs or cats or People collect things, and especially if it looks like their dog, or some people collect lions. I had some elephants, they sold pretty well. Um, so this was a dollar, this was two dollars. Well, I got a cow too. Let's see the cow. Cow with a little bird. Put a bird on it. And um, <laughs> that one actually I spent three dollars on, which was kind of high, but I thought, you know, I'm trying something new, I'm trying to bring some new things into my antiques booth. Oh, I got another animal to show you too. She's pretty. Big tall kitty cat. She's so proud. Look at her. Meow. And she is four dollars. I bought her for four dollars. So these ones are going in my antique mall booth. Trying out some little critters there. Um, 
I've been talking to a new friend about that, like trying to figure out what works in the booth and what doesn't. Different story, but <laughs> anyway, uh, another thing I found here is a Looney Tunes Halloween tie. That was fun. That was a dollar. And then I got a number of silver plate, and these ones are gold plate spoons. And this one actually is a demi toss with a little camel. The, the gold plate ones are selling for between 10 and 15 bucks a piece, I think. And I'll have to double check because this silver plate one goes with a specific pattern, has grapes on it. So these two, oh, this was Mr. Peanut, Mr. Peanut slotted spoon. That was kind of fun. So these two I spent the most on. That was three bucks a piece. The others were a dollar a piece. And that one says 24 karat gold plate. Mm, not bad. And that one as well. So those ones, 10, 15 bucks a piece, depending. And then I got some more spoons. Let me grab them. And these are all silver plate demi toss, you know, but they're the souvenir kinds. And I made sure when I went through, because the this one thrift store had a big box of them. I guess somebody was a collector. <laughs> okay, one more time. So the little um, souvenir demi toss, I kind of check for location, that kind of thing. You know, is it a fancy place, Paris, you know, Hawaii. And then also that they are silver or silver plate uh, because there were some in the box that were like aluminum and uh, they probably won't do as well. And here's a Disneyland one. Disney always does well. Sometimes they have a year. I don't think this one does. Uh oh, here comes trouble. <laughs> My kids like to pop in on me. Anyway, I'll have to come back in Texas. There's a nice Texas one. Hmm. Looks like it's gold plate over silver. Anyway, so those ones I picked up for a buck a piece. And they may sell, depending on which ones, between 6 and 15 or so, maybe 20, depending. Maybe on the Disney one. Um, and then next, I was kind of bummed out about this. It kind of got bumped up a little bit. But I, I bought this little box with the bunnies on it for 3 bucks. I don't know. I may stick it in the booth. Uh, if I make my money back on it, that's good. I, I, Like I said, I was with the kids, so I didn't get to check a whole lot um, how it was getting bought. You know, when they put it in the bag, some of them just threw it in there. Uh, and you'll see in a second, another thing got broken. So I got this set. I'm going to reach for a second. A set of these houses. So it was a set. There were four. But look, this one. They didn't wrap them up, and the little chimney broke off on this one. Here's another one. And then there's a little one. Little. But all four of them were $4, so it was a dollar a piece. So I'm not sure. I'm going to look in the car and see if it fell out of the bag. I couldn't find it. I thought. Anyway, uh, so I was saying I was going to look in the car to see if I could find the little chimney. If it broke off and fell in the car, I would try to glue it back on. But if not, I'll just sell the other three. Hmm, that kind of stinks. And then next, I got a scarf. And it is branded uh, Renato Nucci and this one I've seen some clothes I've only seen one scarf on Etsy and it's selling for 45 65 dollars and I got this one for a dollar I liked it his books I like to read so we'll see maybe 20 30 dollars if I'm lucky on that one and then I got <laughs> this I think it's a Spanish galleon and this one I got for five dollars, little metal boat. And I actually bought this one, and I got a. It was a ship in the bottle, and uh, my son claimed this. And then when he saw me buy the ship in the bottle, he said, "No, I want the ship in the bottle instead." So I had to trade out. So anyway, I think this one will do pretty well. I saw some online from anywhere from twenty to forty. One was eighty or an up, but they were much larger. So that's pretty cool. I don't know, I can't decide if I'm going to put it in the booth or if I'm going to put it online. I can't, I don't know, my antiques booth, I probably wouldn't be able to make it as expensive as I could online. Then next is a set of Grinch glasses, and these were $2 a piece, there's four of them. Let me grab the other two for you. Here we go. Joy is underrated, you're telling me. <laughs> Not really. And Merry Christmas. Um, so those were $2 a piece, and I've seen those on eBay from between 20 and $30 depending um, 
my little one got this volleyball cutie wallet, and then he realized it was a girl wallet. Mm, girl wallet. And he didn't want it anymore, so we'll see what I can do with it. Uh, I picked up, this was kind of funny. So I was looking at, they had all their men's jewelry separate, and they had this over there with their tie tacks. And I thought it was a tie tack, but it turns out I think it's an earring. But I might sell it as a tie tack, you know. It's a little skeleton. I don't know, you think somebody would wear that as a tie tack? Probably. I think so. We'll see. As long as I tell him. I think it was an earring, but it'd make a cool tie tack. <laughs> so this scarf is a poppies. It's all red and purple and black. And I got that for a dollar. And I might sell it 10, 15 bucks. I don't know. Pretty nice. And then some of these I'm going to do on Amazon. FBA. This puzzle. Got it for a dollar ninety nine. It's still sealed. And I have a few other things that I'm going to FBA. Robin Hood Audio Collection. I picked it up for three dollars. Um, I'll put how much it's going to go for on there. I looked them all up. But these two, <clears throat> excuse me, these two were ones that I couldn't get in any cell reception in the store, and I thought I'm going for it. You know, four dollars, three dollars on cheap. So that was expensive for me. But I thought they're sealed. This one's Sherlock Holmes, four bucks. And this one's going for pretty good money because it's still new on FBA. And then I picked up uh, these <laughs> roller blade wheels. You know, I didn't have any reception. And this is the thing. I was going with my, you know, my dad, my sister, all the kids are there. My dad kind of gets what I do. He gets the money part. But then when he saw me buying roller blade wheels, he's like, why are you buying roller skate wheels, Margaret? You don't roll a blade. <sighs> That's not the point. Anyway. I <laughs> uh, picked up some Christmas CDs. These were 75 cents, a dollar. This one's nice because it's a three disc. And they all, the discs look nice, clean. Johnny Mathis. And here's another one. I have to look up some more. America's Fighting Might. My guys really like airplanes and stuff, so... I know others do as well. And another video. This one's a wild thornberries. And it's still sealed up. Anyway. Ah, a dollar on this one. Cinderella. This one's fairly ranked on FBA. Even though it's a VHS. Pretty good. And some knitting needles. 99 cents. And they're going for maybe 6 to $10 cute hat this might go in the booth this was four dollars nice little orange felt hat I'll have to look up I haven't looked up the brand yet hmm Newman something something Fairfield felts 100% wool so all right I think that is everything I think I've gone through it all so anyway thanks for watching and uh, like the video subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down below, and like me on Facebook, and I will talk to you later. Bye!